Standing session and we are going to continue with this on Thursday of next week. The things that we're going to be discussing on next Thursday is going to be a continuation of self-esteem and we're adding self-efficacy in it. Why are we doing this? It's because we're going to, going to build upon what we've already had. We've talked about what self-identity was, we've talked about what self-worth was, and we've talked a little bit about self-esteem. But we're going to build upon all three of those and add the next one, which is going to be self-efficacy. What is it? What is self-esteem and what is self-efficacy? Well, self-esteem is how you feel about yourself. And self-efficacy means, at, at, um, it means advocating for yourself or standing up for yourself. Why or where does it come from? These are personal things. These things come from within. These things come from how you feel about yourself and how you want to be treated. So you will be advocating for yourself in order to make these things happen. The next question we're gonna ask is why is it important? Why are those four components important to your well-being? Well, it's important because you have to be able to identify your worth and who you are and how you feel about yourself and how you're going to advocate for yourself. Once you do all of that, that will establish you for the future and for your next things, like when you go to your next level in classes or your next level in grade and for the high school students that's going off to college. These are some things that you're going to need because right now your parents can come and advocate for you. But once you get to high school, it's very important for you to do it for yourself. And that sets the stage for when you go off to college because we can't go into the college classroom and confront a professor on your behalf. You have to be able to do that. And if you're taking AP classes and dual credit classes, again, those things we as parents can't do for you. So we have to be able to advocate for ourselves. How do I advocate for myself? You advocate for yourself by standing up, be respectful, but if you see something or if you hear something that's not conducive to your spirit, then you confront it. You confront it respectfully and you respect, confront it heads on. Sometimes people don't even know. People don't even know what they have done to you. So it's important for us to be able to step forward and confront the situation so it doesn't boil over. So all the things that we have talked about, what it is, where it does it come from, why is it important, and how do I advocate for myself will be enhanced on on Thursday. So thank you, I'm welcome, and I'm looking forward to seeing you and come in on our Zoom session for Thursday of next week. I'm looking forward to talking to y'all. And again, welcome to Let's Chat Tea Time with Miss Ramona.